Youth crime, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about that. Uh, it's a metaphor for what? Stick around and listen tonight on The Report from Tiger Mountain. All right, ladies and gentlemen, youth crime. We're going to talk about that tonight in a report from Tucker Mountain. Uh, it's a bit of a kind of metaphor, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen, for sort of, uh, you know, um, uh, multicultural crime, you know, black crime, isn't it? You know, that's what it is. Uh, you know, it's called, uh, let's call it what it is, ladies and gentlemen. You know, it's, um, you know, we hear of, uh, you know, youth crime uh, being out of control in many of our major cities. Um, you know, Sydney, Melbourne, and uh, particularly it seems like up in um, Queensland and, uh, you know, even in, um, even up in the Northern Territory, obviously. So, you know, um, it seems like for whatever reason, uh, you know, uh, young people um, are obviously probably getting into drugs too soon. And I'm not talking about smoking a little bit of marijuana. They're probably getting on ice in their teenage years. And, you know, that makes people crazy, ladies and gentlemen. It makes people crazy. And they're probably getting involved in high-level drug dealing. And that, you know, obviously, you know, gets uh, creates almost like American gang-style situations. And then you just have people who are just openly hostile, overly aggressive. There was that poor, um, you know, old lady who got killed up in Queensland. You know, I mean, what can be done to, about this? Obviously, I support, you know, um, the thin blue line cracking down on this, but I think it's terrible um, that we live in a, you know, a country where this is just now become a problem. It's almost like an American problem. It's not a problem we had to face in Australia until we embraced mass immigration. I mean, whenever I see uh, somebody killed, um, you know, by somebody who is uh, a foreign immigrant, I think, well, that is a death that was avoidable. You know what I mean? If that person had not been allowed into our country, who killed that Australian or that old uh, grandmother who'd been living here her whole life until she got murdered one afternoon by some foreigner, I think, you know, that is a crime that was avoidable. And, um, you know, uh, and obviously not every single... I'm not saying that every immigrant who comes here um, is a violent criminal. Of course that isn't true. But, like, you know... It's like, what, what, what is the price that we're willing to pay that, you know, some are. Some are coming from countries um, where trauma is, you know, uh, regular and that they had terrible childhoods and terrible upbringings themselves in these foreign countries that were often war zones. So they've been brutalised, ladies and gentlemen. And, you know, what do you get when you import people from, you know, brutalised countries... Um, when they come here, they're brutal. People from southern Sudan, the Sudanese or whatever, uh, various other parts of Africa. I mean, you know, it's no surprise, is it, ladies and gentlemen, that people who come from a brutalised environment turn out to be brutal and um, psychotic or sadistic or whatever. So, you know, I mean, you know, Australia can simply ab avoid this problem by tightening our immigration um, because there's an old uh, saying on the new right, the dissident right, that if you import the third world, you become the third world, and we don't want to become the third world. We'd like to remain the first world, ladies and gentlemen. So let's, you know, vote for people like Pauline Hanson, Clyde Palmer, and even the Labor... Sorry, not the Labor Party. What am I saying? I should give myself a slap. Uh, the Liberal Party, ladies and gentlemen, uh, because at least they uh, attempt uh, to be tougher on immigration, even though the Liberal Party, you know, has mostly deserted that platform, but it used to at least give some lip service to it. So there it is, uh, ladies and gentlemen. We need to get tough on youth crime, obviously through the police, but then, you know, we also need to limit mass immigration and, you know, begin to stabilise uh, our societies and our civilization. And that's the report from Tiger Mountain this week. Thank you.